The multi cooker is my new favorite pot, and I'm going to use it to make black bean soup. Basically, I'm just going to throw everything in there, and before I know it, I'm going to have a delicious soup with all the fixins. I'm going to cook some veggies in saute mode first. And I've got some finely diced onion and minced garlic. Delicious start. And then I have some diced red bell pepper. I just took the seeds out. A multi cooker is primarily an electronic pressure cooker, but the great thing about it is you can saute in it before you put the lid on and pressure cook whatever it is you're making. It's really a miraculous machine if you ask me. I'm also gonna add some sliced jalapenos. And then I'll stir all this around. And now I'm just gonna let the veggies cook until they're soft. It's gonna take four minutes. I'm back with the chili powder and that goes in next. I'll add a couple of tablespoons. Gotta have chili powder whenever you make black beans. They just go together. And then a tablespoon of ground cumin, another of my favorites. And then the beans need quite a bit of salt, so I'll add a couple of teaspoons and give this a stir. Oh gosh, those veggies look amazing. Before I put the veggies into the multi-cooker, I added a little bit of lard. You can do butter or oil, whatever you prefer. Okay, this looks great. So I'll add in the beans, just dried black beans. And for the liquid, I've got vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth, even water would work, but I like the flavor of broth. Now the final thing is to set it to cook on manual. Here goes. So it's 50 minutes of cooking, followed by 10 minutes for the pressure to release naturally. Then I'll release the rest of the steam through quick release. The fun part is always taking off the lid and seeing what's inside. It looks really thick and rich. So this is a good time to add the juice of a couple of limes. <laughs> All right, now I'll stir. And then you can serve the black bean soup just as it is now with the whole beans. But I kind of like to puree the beans a little bit just so the soup has a mix of textures. So there's no better tool for that than an immersion blender. Okay. I'm gonna stop there because I really like the texture. It's sort of a cross between refried beans and whole beans. So you wanna get a nice bowl with a wide rim. Gosh, this looks great. Okay, now for the fixins, I'm gonna add some sour cream some diced avocado, some diced red onion, and some diced tomato. How gorgeous is this looking? And then just cilantro leaves. Sprinkle them over. It's always nice to give it a little extra squeeze of lime. 